Welcome, welcome, welcome to season two, game number four. Season 2.1, game number four. V6 versus DMC, also known as Enigma. Enigma Esports versus V6 Esports. Uh, good luck to both contenders, man. Good luck to both contenders. We see a uh, Esmeralda ban right off the bat, as well as uh, I'm messing with the wrong window. You know, it happens. Um, as well as a uh, Esmeralda and Claude ban from V6, and Enigma is banning uh, Hylos and Koopa right off the bat. Interesting. Interesting ban on the Koopa. All right. Uh, oh, we have a uh, Selena pick. Selena and Kaja pick on the side of uh, Enigma. Those are two huge players. Thamus is extremely difficult to deal with as well. Um, and uh, we'll have to see how they land against each other. Uh, Selena completely dominating last time when uh, she was playing with uh, when Cerberus TJ was playing her rather. So uh, we'll have to see if uh, Selena is able to dominate really well again this time. And we have uh, two more picks now for the side of V6. Good luck. V6 like the engine or the juice. Wait, that's V8. Either way. Either way. All right. Now we've got a... Uh, we're showing a Kufra here. That's a... Uh, Kufra's really good against uh, Selena. Uh, prevents her ability to uh, jump around as easily. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good pick there from uh, from V6. And now we have a uh, Johnson. A Johnson and a Grok. Or sorry, that's Grok. He looked like Johnson for a second. That's a, that's a Grok pick on the side of... On the side of uh, Enigma. I like it. I like it. They ban Hylos. They pick Grok. That's the way to do it. Grok super super good against Cho, Thamus, and Kufra, so uh, I like those picks so far from uh, Enigma. But on the side of of V6, we've got a lot of crowd control. We've got a lot of team fight. Uh, it looks like we're gonna see a lot of fighting this game. I like it. That's a Ling ban. That's very fair. Uh, they've got moderately squishy heroes right now um, in the early game, and Ling can uh, can destroy squishy heroes in the early game, even after her, even post nerf Ling. Absolutely. All right, V6 now. We have another ban coming out. Um, they do not have any marksmen yet, so we'll see if they try to maybe ban, like, a Bruno or a Kimmy. Uh, slow them down a little bit. I think, uh, yep, Kimmy ban. There it is. Absolutely. DMC would be uh, super, super dangerous with Kimmy. Or Enigma, rather, would be super dangerous with Kimmy. They're going to maybe go for a Karina here. That'd be explosive. She is so, so strong after her after her rework. She, uh, she just outputs the DPSs for days. It's insane. She'll be safe for days if she saves if she saves her shaves her legs with Renee's razor blades. I've created a monster because nobody wants to see Marshall no more. They want Shady. I'm chopping him up. Well, if you want Shady, this is what I'll give you: a little bit of weed, miss some hot liquor, some vodka. That'll jump stop my heart quicker than the shots when I get shocked at the hospital by the doctor because he's not cooperating. Because I'm rocking the table while he's operating. You waited this long, so stop debating. Because I'm back. I'm on the rag and I'm ovulating. I know that you got a job, Miss Cheney, but your hopsman's part problem is complicating. All right, that's a Karina pick on the side of Enigma. That's awesome. And uh, V6 looking for a uh, Valir and Lancelot. Interesting. We might, I might see a Hyper Lancelot. I've seen that a couple times, even in some pubs. And uh, Lancelot absolutely can do it. Aaron, thank you so much for the, uh, the 10 stars. And he says, show items after every fight. Okay. Yes, sir. That's a good idea. Thank you for the 10 stars, uh, Aaron. I appreciate that. Aaron Zeke. Oh, two Aarons. Aaron Zeke for the 10 stars and also Aaron... Uh, Beneventura. Beneventura. Fights are every three to four minutes. Okay, I will do my best to show items every three to four minutes. Thank you guys all for the, uh, the tips. It helps me uh, become a better caster. All right. That's a, that's a fully built team on both sides. Valir. Okay. I like the uh, the casual skin flexing on both sides. Oh, absolutely. All right, time to move my uh, my little face over to the side. Oh, there goes a water bottle. Water bottle down. There we go. We saved it. Good luck, Penguin, for both teams, and uh, let's get after it. All right, on the side of V6, we have Lancelot, Cho, Valir, Kufer, and Thamus versus Angela, Grox, Selena, Karina, and Jawhead on the side of Enigma. Good luck to both teams. Let's go get after it. Uh, I'm really excited to see uh, Valir, Thamus, and uh, Kufra just dominate these early team fights. But, I mean, Grok's going to be able to split them up quite a bit. You can't see him while he's ulting, and you can't see him while he's using his first skill. So we'll see if he's able to get in there and uh, break up the uh, the fight enough. Um, unless Cho maybe kicks Grok out of the way, it's very possible. I think that is one of the few things that goes through Grok's skill. So 
Excited to see how that works. And uh, it looks like we're going to see a 1-3-1 with uh, Lancelot, Valir, and Kufra going middle. That's, uh, that's really strong on the side of uh, on the side of V6. And uh, Jawhead saying, good luck, good luck. I love that, man. That's uh, that's awesome friendly sportsmanship, and that's what we like to see here. Uh, we've got Karina taking the role of, uh, of Carrie here. So we're going to have some uh, assassin battles. That's super, super cool. All right, Jawhead Cam just waiting on the buff. Lancelot, though, uh, making some uh, making some noise mid. Uh, able to dodge the... Uh, Able to dodge the uh, little thing from uh, this little spin from Grok, and uh, after that he's gonna go uh, take the squishy. Grok uh, looking to uh, maybe contest it here. Karina also coming in. Thamus, however, in the back. Uh, Grok is, is about to die. Grok goes down to Valir. Oh my goodness! And uh, Thamus able to get the slow off on Jawhead. Jawhead also goes down to uh, Lancelot. That's huge. Uh, however, Karina and Selina are both going to the bottom lane. About to steal their red buff. We're about to steal the red buff from the enemy. That's, uh, that's unfortunate for the uh, for the enemy. Wow, that was way too aggressive. Way too aggressive on the side of uh, Enigma. And uh, V6 absolutely capitalizing on that. Lancelot already level 3. Already level 3. Uh, Grok has got Retribution. He was looking to see if he could steal the, uh, could steal the, the buff there. Uh, Lancelot not watching his teammates. He's going back to the middle to farm. But is, it, is Valir and uh, Kufr? No, they're not going to quite be enough to take him down. They're not going to be quite enough to take him down. However, uh... Lancelot still farming. Oh, big stun from Selena. We'll see if she tries to go in. Uh, they're a little bit timid to go in because Valir is right there behind them, along with that Kufra backup. That's a, that's a lot of CC that they'd have to try to get through. That is a lot of CC that they'd have to try to get through. Meanwhile, uh, Angela beating up uh, beating up Cho a little bit with that with that first uh, skill slow, but uh, Cho able to uh, burst down the creep wave pretty pretty nicely. It looks like Lancelot might be going trying trying to go for a uh, for a kill here. And uh, that's one, two, three. Four, and yes, he's able to get his, uh, his almost his full combo off of there. And uh, let's see, Lancelot, we already have a uh, we already have a uh, complete nimble blade. Uh, Karina able to drop Thamus in the mid lane. That's a big turnaround. Uh, Enigma absolutely needing that. Grok throwing a wall forward just to get a little bit of a uh, just to get a little bit of a uh, distance in between them and a little bit of vision as well. Uh, Selena trying to drop Lancelot, but Lancelot able to dodge the last hit, the very last hit, and uh, Selena doing a little bit of a wild stun there. A little bit of a wild stun, but no, uh, oh no, Jawhead's going down. <laughs> oh no, Jawhead's going down. Jawhead is going to drop again. Um, I think Valir getting the kill on that one. My goodness, Valir's such a, such a contender, uh, in the mid lane. He's got so much CC, it's ridiculous. So much CC, it's ridiculous. Meanwhile, uh, Lancelot trying to steal more of their farm, and, uh, bad, bad wall from Grok. He's going to prevent Karina from, uh, from getting there. But, uh, Karina's still, uh, still happy to go in on this. Uh, Lancelot trying to see if he can get out of here. Karina, though, does so much damage. Lancelot needs one more jump. Oh, he gets the big dodge. Uh, Karina's able to drop him, but Karina's going to lose her own life for it. That's unfortunate. Uh, Jawhead diving the tower. That's a, that's a scary dive, especially considering the fact that Valir has ultimate. Yep, Valir going to be able to burst him down there. And uh, Kufr also going to be able to do enough damage. Grok hanging out in the bushes here. I don't think that they see him. He's uh, he's looking for the next, uh, the next blue buff. Going to be uh, nice and patient there. Meanwhile, Selena trying to push down middle lane. To offset for uh, for the loss of towers on the side of uh, on the side of Enigma. Meanwhile, V6 uh, beating up Selena here. We'll see what Selena tries to do. Selena's got a lot of burst damage. Uh, is it going to be enough? It's not going to be enough. Uh, Kufra and Cho are going to be able to take her down. And uh, Grok, oh my gosh, he's been patient for so long. Is his patience going to pay off? We'll see him. Uh, we'll see him walk up, try to take the creep, and he uh, he's able to take uh, Lancelot's blue buff. That's huge. That's huge. V6. V6 not happy about that. They're going to try to punish Kufra for it. Yep, Thamus is going to go in. Oh my gosh, Grok's going to ult. He's not going to be able to get out of there. Uh, the Valir for the burn from Valir is going to be able to take him down. Uh, they are now pushing the mid lane tower. That's Valir, Kufra, and Lancelot taking down the mid lane tower. Now uh, Karina coming in from the side with Jawhead. Jawhead a little bit of out of position. Jawhead's going to drop to uh, to Cho. Cho doing so much damage in these fights. Karina just trying to uh, trying to struggling to keep up. There's already a 2k gold gap. That is crazy. And uh, that's a finished Reaper Machete and Tough Boots <coughs> on uh, Lancelot. Whereas Karina, not not quite a finished Star Shard. Not quite a finished Star Shard. So uh, she'll get there. She uh, definitely needs more damage. Good little creep cut, but uh, Valir in the background trying to stop him. Oh my gosh, big, big play from Kufra. He's going to prevent her from getting out. And then uh, a big sweep from the Valir doing lots of fire damage. Uh, Grok trying to go in to disrupt him. Not going to be able to do it. Uh, that's an unstoppable from Cho. Cho dropping someone in the bottom lane. Angela, and then uh, going to take the tower after that. Thamus then going up, beating up Jawhead. It's Selena, the lone defender. 
the lone defender. It looks like they, uh, they're they gunning for red. Uh, the uh, V6 is gunning for Enigma's red buff. I love how, how scrappy this game has been early on. Selena trying to get out of there. Beautiful skin. Beautiful skin, but is it going to be enough to save her? It is. She's uh, she's going to barely get out of the way. Valir might burn her. Nope. Uh, let's see. Lancelot getting super aggressive, but he's able to get out of there. He's not going to be uh, punished for that. Uh, meanwhile, Valir uh, getting two stuns off. Huge. That's a triple kill for Valir. He's going to go for a Maniac. <coughs> this Valir is on fire. Get it? Get it? He's on fire? Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's just move past that. Let's move past that lame joke. Uh... Selena doing her best to defend, but she's uh, she's a level behind this Thamus. Thamus uh, still has a second skill. He's not going to pop it just yet because uh, Selena is going to be able to get out of there. And uh, Cho just continuing to farm his little heart out. And uh, let's see. Now we've got uh, Kufra getting a big jump in from the side. Uh, then Cho's going to be able to finish that off with a ultimate and a spin kick whack onto the Karina. Now uh, Kufra going for Jawhead. Not going to be able to find Jawhead quite yet. Not going to be able to find Jawhead quite yet, but... Uh, Happy to go for Selena. Oh my gosh, gets a huge play on Selena. We'll see what Cho's doing. He's uh, he's going for it. Yep, that's a kill on Selena. I think Jawhead has a. Uh, he's trying to wait for a throw. Maybe not able to get it off. Oh man, I think uh, I think Enigma Gaming is um, is a little tilted. Poor Enigma. Poor Enigma. But um, yeah, they're going for it. They are going for it. Ma Karina still up, still up and at him. Uh, almost a uh, 15,000 gold advantage to the side of, uh, the side of V6. They're contenders, man. Here's their items. Uh, we see, uh, the, uh, Marksman Killer Blade coming out on Lancelot pretty early, pretty early. Selena and Karina, though, struggling to keep up. There goes Jawhead. Lancelot be able to get under the tower, able to get his combo off, and able to drop the Jawhead. Uh, they're trying to go in for more. Kufra able to get the big spin, not able to get his ult off, though, on Grok. And now Valir doing fire damage from the back. Thamus and... Cho able to drop the top tower. Able to drop the top tower. Yeah, we have we have a really squishy team from the side of uh from the side of oh go oh no no oh man I thought they were gonna be able to drop Chow. They might be able to drop Chow. Big big rock wall, but uh, it's not gonna be enough. Jawhead looks like he's tilted. Poor guy. Poor guy. Um. Anyway, uh, we've got V6 on the enemy inhibitors right now. Lancelot trying to go in the back do some damage. Uh, they're a little bit shy to push, which is fair. Oh my gosh, big jump from Kufra. Big jump from Kufra. Uh, legendary Fudge to Valir. Uh, that's another kill for Lancelot. They're gonna push in. Oh my gosh, Cho drops another backliner. Valir beating up this Selena. Selena not gonna be able to get out of there. Thamus in the base, they're gonna drop it. And that's a, that's the game for V6. V6 wins, goes on to the semifinals. I like it. Alright guys, on to the next game.